This is the Sharnoa HPM30 with a Tiger 6 CNC control. I'm going to do a quick walk around the machine, uh, show you how to power it on. Over here is the computer cabinet. Here's the switch for turning on the computer. You see all the red lights indicating that it's on, powering up. We go back to the front. Here's the computer booting up. This machine boots into Windows 98. And while that's booting up, we'll go back here to the control cabinet. This is the Siemens Simodrive 611 system. The red light over there is the Yaskawa 4th axis drive. We'll turn the main power on. This yellow and green light indicate that power is enabled. It will become a yellow light once I turn the drives on from the front. And this is the LED. Everything is fine there. And these are the solenoid boards. Okay. Now we'll come back around to the front of the machine. Again, this is Windows 98. All right. Set the password to whatever you want. Uh, to turn on the CNC control, we're going to open this program CNC3. Alright, we hit space bar, gets rid of the main screen. Here we just type escape to get out of that menu and we move the control over to manual. Emergency stop release and turn on the drivers. Now since this machine has been completely powered down, we need to reference the axes. Uh, if the machine hasn't been powered down, if you only turn off the drives, uh, then you don't need to re-reference the machine. So, to do this, we keep it in manual, we do a page down, twice, until you get the word reference. Then we do, uh, right here, we do plus, five, and then hit enter. The machine is going to start automatically referencing all three axes. Okay. As you can see here, while it's doing that, we'll go around to the side of the machine. There's your loop system, there's the transformer, there's the coolant tank, coolant pump. What we need is to get the number off of the pot that is currently in the spindle. So that's going to be this one right here, number eight. So once we go to change the first tool, the program is going to ask us for that pot number, and that's how the tool changer is referenced. So we're almost referenced on all three axes. So now we can just go up to MDI, back to manual, and as you can see, all three axes move. and relatively quiet. Now we're going to do a tool change. Right now it's got tool, tool 1 in. 
and you can tell that right here. So I'm going to type in tool 2, T2M6, enter, oops, sorry, MDI mode, enter, and then cycle start. Okay, the screen right here, enter the pocket number in the magazine position, and we're in position 8. So we just type in 8, enter. Now it's going to go change the tool. Now the carousel is referenced, so if you want to change the tool back, we just do tool 1, M6, enter, cycle start. Alright, this machine uses Fanuc and Haas compatible G codes, so if we want to rotate the spindle, we can either do it in manual or go to MDI. So in MDI mode, we'll type S5000 M3. That will turn the spindle on clockwise. Then cycle start. That's 1,000. Do spindle 2,000. M3. That's 2,000. This is 5,000. The machine's a little cold, it's been sitting all weekend, so. It actually gets a little quieter once it's been running a few minutes. Spindle 6,000, M3. Spindle 7,000, M3. And spindle 8,000, that's the max RPM for this machine. And notice I can move the machine around, no problem. Spindle stop, M2. Alright, the next program will be, the next video will be how to load a program and we'll actually run apart.